Hey there guys, uh, this is Ornian and we have another review. And this is Lagaminus's Pale Ale. Uh, it is um, New Dogtown. I actually uh, accidentally bought this intending to buy a another brew that Lagaminus does. I, I think it's called, um, shoot, not New Dogtown, but Daytime, Daytime, sorry. Daytime is their other Pale Ale. Uh, unfortunately, I guess I just made a mistake at the store, but you know, it's all great. I have uh, previously had this beer, but I mean, it's been a little bit. And uh, why not go back to beers that you know you actually really liked? And I didn't I remember liking this beer. By the way, right before this, I had uh, Phantom Boo! Exclamation point. Um, I reviewed it and I just refused to uh, put that review up. It is a really disgusting beer. I am really disappointed with that beer. Um, I almost thought it was infected, but then I was like getting more into it and I definitely you know was understanding a bit more but it's still really gross um yeah that <laughs> did not do it for me uh yeah i guess i hear phantom is very on and off brewery um their phantom saison is actually a great beer but didn't really like the boo is actually really yeah a drain pour for me and i never do that but um yeah i mean so i'm excited to have this because uh this hopefully will clean off the palate so um the beer comes in a super clear color my god it's super like it's almost like glass um it's amber clear color. I've never seen a, I mean, I've seen maybe a couple of beers this clear, but it almost looks like um, apple cider. Um, it comes in super clear gold, uh, um, honey color, uh, with a bit of a head. Um, so yeah, let's get the aroma on this. Mmm, very nice. Um, tons of citrus, orange, um, a bit of lemon, and nice bready malt in the back. Um, the maltiness, the caramel malt really shows through. Yeah. Um, maybe a bit of pine too, along with the hops. Um, some floral notes. Um, yeah, let's get the a flavor on this. Mm. Yeah, it's almost spicy. Wow, mm. it's a very clean drinking beer. Um, I guess Lagunilla strain is just very good. Or I, I, I assume they might use similar strains between their hoppy uh, males. Very clean, very clean drinking beers. Um, a light caramel, uh, caramel malt body with this. Um, a lot of, a lot of um, a floral notes. It's almost like spicy. Yeah, as I said earlier, um, some citrus in the front, some orange. Yeah, it's it's not too fruit forward. It's got some floral. It tacks with pine on the finish. You have this bit of um, graininess on the finish. That's quite obvious on the aftertaste, um, but still very easy drinking beer, uh, decently hoppy, a good amount of bitterness, um, 6.2 ABV, no offense, I might consider something more substantial, more hoppy, more exciting, but still very easy drinking beer. That aftertaste of greediness is really quite offensive though, I'd say. It's not bad. Um, clear pillow. Um, great session beer. I'd say that is a bit dangerous. A session beer at 6.2, not exactly, you know, five or under, but um, actually, I'm going to check the bottle date on this. I'm just curious, actually. So, oh, wow. It's a bit old, isn't it? Oh. So I believe that um, how Lagadina says your bottle date is that I see um, two, two lines of numbers. And the first line says, Three one three three. So from from what I gather, that's the last three is twenty thirteen. You know, the last three. The three thirteen is Julian dating. Um, Lagunitas does a very good job uh, showing their uh, dating through this way, and Sierra Nevada does the same. You can definitely check out both dates very easily with the Julian date. The Julian date is from one to three sixty five. So this is three thirteen. That means it is around fifty days behind that uh, uh, behind the end of the year. So this was around uh, last week of November. So this beer is probably around um, pushing for towards six weeks, six weeks or so. So that's not bad. Um, hops will hold up pretty decently, but there's some, something wrong with the graininess, I'd say. It's not quite there for me. So very clean beer, lagging this as well. So um, until next time, guys, I'm gonna give this a 85.
It's a clean drinking beer, but not really where I want my pale to be. So until next time, next time guys, cheers. Later.